The banded lat pull down is an excellent exercise for the back, shoulders, and arms. And it can easily be performed at home as long as you've got some type of anchor. This video is going to cover the basics of how to set up for a resistance band lat pull down in your home, different variations of the movement, which muscles are worked, and I'm going to show you how to do one of the most common variations of the movement. I'm Dr. Elise Brown, and I'm a scientist who studies how exercise can help prevent and slow the progression of type 2 diabetes. Although a traditional lat pulldown is performed at the gym, typically using a selectorized machine that allows you to modify the resistance by moving a pin in and out of the weight stack, the banded version of the exercise can easily be performed at home using either a wall or a door anchor. The door anchor is typically the more affordable and easier option for setup. First, thread the resistance band through the door anchor. Then with the door open, Put the anchor on top of the door and then close the door so that the anchor stays secured. Two advantages of the door anchor are greater affordability and you can take it with you when you travel. If you don't want to worry about having to repeatedly set up the door anchor or a door isn't conveniently located near your workout space, the wall anchor may be a better choice. I used the OPTP wall anchors by Bob and Brad and the installation just required a drill, a stud finder, and a socket wrench. Although this option required a little more work on the front end, the installation was pretty easy and it makes more sense for my workout space since I don't have any doors in this area of my house. If using this option, the anchor should be as high as you can reach with your arm fully extended upward. I provided links to both of these types of anchors in the description below. If a pull-up bar is available to you, anchoring the band to a stable structure such as this works too. The lat pull down is considered a vertical shoulder pull movement. And some of the main muscles involved are the shoulder adductors, which include the latissimus dorsi, teres major, and lower fibers of the pectoralis major, as well as the posterior deltoid and biceps brachii. This is a good exercise to start with if you're trying to build up your strength to eventually be able to do a pull up. Our hand position is gonna directly influence how these muscle groups are being targeted. Different hand grip variations can include close grip, supinated grip with palms facing the body, wide grip anterior, which is pulled down towards the chest, and a wide grip posterior, which is pulled back towards the back. The wide grip anterior puts more emphasis on the latissimus dorsi and tricep long head compared to the other grips. For the latissimus dorsi, this greater emphasis is probably because this position requires more shoulder adduction and horizontal abduction. This grip is also more mechanically efficient than the posterior version, allowing for higher intensities to be moved. More emphasis is placed on the pectoralis major when pulling towards the chest, and the emphasis changes to the posterior deltoid when pulling towards the back. There are some theoretical risks, however, when pulling behind the neck towards the back because the rotator cuff muscles are not able to effectively stabilize and this position may also put a higher degree of stress on the ligaments in the shoulder. To perform an anterior lat pull down, you first want to position a chair near the banded setup so that the band will be right in front of you. Or you can sit on the floor with your legs straight out in front or on your knees with a cushion beneath depending on the height of the band. You just wanna make sure that the band is positioned high enough that you can fully stretch the band and feel resistance throughout the movement. You can either use tube bands with the handles or bands without handles. We wanna make sure that our trunk is positioned upright with a slight extension at the hips. Our hips, shoulders, and head are gonna stay in alignment with each other. Grab each side of the band or both handles so that your palms are facing forward. With your arms fully extended above the head and elbows and palms staying just in front of the trunk, our hands are going to be positioned about one and a half to two times shoulder width. Begin to pull the band downward so that the finishing position has your hands on either side of the chest and your elbows can't go down any further. The shape of your arms and trunk should look like a W in the bottom position. Return the band to its starting position by reversing the movement and returning the arms to a fully extended position. Avoid rocking back and forth throughout the movement, keeping the hips stabilized, and move the band in a controlled manner. Inhale as you return the band to starting position, and exhale as you pull down, making sure to keep the abdominals braced throughout the movement. 
The banded lat pull down is an excellent home exercise for the back, shoulders, and biceps, and it can be used as a starting point or accessory movement for building up to a pull up. A palms forward anterior pulling position offers a mechanical advantage and it may be a safer choice than pulling behind the neck. Thank you for watching.